Welcome to Read Ancient Languages. I'm Dr. Fausto Labruto. Today we travel to ancient Egypt. This is the temple of Abu Simbel, built almost 1300 years before Christ. Its walls are ornated with magnificent hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs can be very difficult to read and translate, but today I'm going to give you some tips on how to make sense of some of the signs that are easier to recognize. The blue arrows point at a structure which is supposed to represent a rope encircling a group of hieroglyphs. This uh, structure is uh, called uh, with a French word a cartouche or with its uh, original uh, ancient Egyptian name of uh, shell and uh, it's um, uh, supposed to mark a person's name with or without their honorific. So whenever you see a cartouche, you can be sure it contains a person's name. Unfortunately, to make things more uh, difficult, the symbols inside a cartouche can be arranged in various different ways. They can be written from right to left or from left to right, and uh, this makes the translation more difficult. Today I will concentrate on this cartouche, which is actually from a temple in Luxor. The first hieroglyph we identify on the top right corner is the symbol of the god Ra. So we, we translate it or we transliterate it as the letter R. The next symbol is a composite hieroglyph which is transliterated as MC and uh, it is uh, translated as uh, begot so Ra begot and uh, the third symbol which uh, is the stem of a plant is transliterated as a swe and the whole uh, group of hieroglyphs translates as Ra begot him then we will move to the center where we identify another hieroglyph which transliterates as mer. This means beloved. And incidentally, the stem of the verb is preserved in Coptic, where me means to love. Finally, on the top left corner, we identify another hieroglyph representing a god. In this case, the god Amun. So together Mer Amun means beloved by Amun. So the whole contents of the cartouche translate roughly as the one begotten by the god Ra and beloved by the god Amun. These are the nine, name and title of the pharaoh Ramses II. So the next time you come across a um, wall covered in hieroglyphics you can identify a name and its honorific contained in a cartouche and if you are lucky you will probably be able to see the name of this famous pharaoh who lived 1300 years before Christ. Thank you for listening to Read Ancient Languages and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates.